Alright guys, welcome back to another episode. It's another day in the life. I was just out driving, getting gas for the vehicle, and I drove past this tree that has like 50 buzzards in it. So I have my Canon A1 loaded with some Vista 200, Agfa Vista 200, that's a color film. And I have my Canon FTB loaded with Kodak Tri-X Push 1600. So I'm gonna go over here and try to get a couple shots of these guys. Hopefully it looks good. I only have wide angle width, so hopefully I can, I can make it look good. We'll see. Let's go over here and check this out. Okay, a little bit about what just happened. I went to go find the buzzards, I found them, and when I found them, there was a dead deer. So I took a couple shots of the dead deer with my FTB and my AE-1. It's, it's bottom jaws gone, and it's full hip bone is exposed. It's It's been dead for a while. I think it's been dead for a couple days at least. Um, the cold is preventing it from stinking and gathering flies and stuff like that. I know this sounds very weird, but I think I'm gonna go home and get my large format. There's something so dramatic about this scene with its jaw being missing. I think it's something I need to capture on 4.5. So I'm gonna run home, grab the 4.5, and then head back down here and try to set up and take a photo of this. Very, I started tearing up. I am like a 100% obsessed animal lover. Like I love animals so much and it was the saddest thing. But there is just something, there's something silencing about the deer. It's just like, it, the time I was there taking the photos, I, I felt something. I felt something that I don't get to feel on a regular basis of shooting photographs. So I think I need to go back and get the four or five. I'm not a sicko. I'm not into like murder and death and stuff like that, but this is something I need to capture on 4.5. Alright, gonna run home quick, we'll come back down here. So I just wanted to do a quick gear check. Everything seems to be here. I left the house not too long ago without a shutter cable. There's nothing more frustrating than that. I think I'm good to go. I got everything. Three bags worth of stuff just for one photo. I'm an over, over packer, over prepper, but let's get out of here. Sorry, a lot of driving in this episode, but I don't think I'm going to film the deer directly. I think I'll just show you the photographs. I feel like it'll be less abrasive. Hopefully the birds didn't go back and rip him to shreds. I was gone for about three hours. I was just really tired. It was early in the morning when we were first here. I took a little break, hung out with the cats, packed up some gear, loaded some film. I didn't show you all that. Just was trying to stay in the mindset and in the zone. Makes it kind of hard to film and video everything when you're just trying to use this for personal personal use like I've mentioned before in the podcast and stuff like that that you know photography is my my artistic release my sports my fun my hobby my everything it's, it's just literally my everything so I was just trying to keep a little bit of it keep a little bit of this project or this shot this little session here to myself so Let's get everything together and walk back down here, see what we can get. I do, I can't forget my light meter. I have to remember my light meter. All right, here we go.
All right, so I'm developing those deer shots right now. I'm gonna start off with the C41. Got my tank, it's my grenade tank. Got the Kodak Ektar in here, 100. Four sheets, this thing is amazing. I'm planning on doing like a full review on this tank and kind of like a how-to. I'll probably do that with developing 4x5. I have a whole series of developing videos I wanna put out for you guys, which I've been putting it off because I don't know if you guys really need that. I mean, my, the community and the people that I talk to all the time seem to know what they're doing. So I don't even know. Maybe I'll just do like a little how to use this thing video. I don't know, we'll see. you know, picked up a cannon and learned a lot about All right, so I took a little break from developing and scanning and all that stuff. I had watched uh, another YouTuber's video. His name's Dale Decker. He, he has like a skateboarding channel. He's like a skateboard YouTuber. And he also makes zines and they're, I, you know, I haven't actually seen one of his zines. I've seen some pictures that he's posted in these zines, but I, I've actually never held one. So um, he just did a video recently on shooting film. He He's a film shooter and he was so jazzed in this video about, you know, learning learning some things about it. Like he was basically learning the exposure triangle and trying to, you know, understand aperture and shutter speed and stuff like that and depth of field. And he was so stoked on it. And he has this um, old Minolta S SRT, I think is what they're called. And he had mentioned something about a Canon AE-1 in the video. He's like, oh no, mine's not like that. It's older than that. That's the Canon AE-1. I know what you're talking about. Light bulb went off in my head and I was like, dude, this kid's so jazz. And photography, equipment, and gear has definitely been paid forward to me a million times. I have been given cameras, I've been given film to try, and I packed up uh, 12 rolls of film, two black and white, uh, 10 color, threw some stickers in there, threw some shoot film co stuff. I wish I would have <laughs> pulled the camera out while I was packing it up, but I was just like, stoked. I was super excited to get this together for him and I'm currently at the post office. I'm gonna throw this in there, uh, get it sent over to his P.O. box. Um, I think I'm also trying to get him as a guest on the Analog Talk in the next couple weeks. So that should be, that should be pretty awesome. So I just wanted to throw a quick little line in there. Here's the package. He's getting one of these with the 50 mil on it. I hope you I hope you get some good use out of it, Dale. If you have any questions, if you watch these videos, I don't know. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'm, I'm always here to help. All right, so two more things real quick I wanna to touch on before I end this episode. The first thing, I'm doing a 2K giveaway. Now, it's going to be a Polaroid instant camera and a pack of either color 600 film or black and white 600 film. Now, that's gonna be when I hit my 2K. And I'm gonna make a whole video on that. We're gonna take the camera out and shoot it for one of these episodes so you guys can see what kind of images you can make, just so you know you're not getting a dud in the mail. It's a good, it's a good camera. It's one of the last Polaroids ever made. Keep an eye out for that. That's probably gonna be, maybe not my next video, but the next video. What, 90, 90 subscribers until I hit 200 or 2,000. So just keep an eye out for that. And also, I wanted to do something a little special for this episode. I'm doing three prints. I'm gonna do three prints and only gonna give three away. So if you wanna leave a comment down below, make sure you're subscribed, like the video, and leave either a one, two, or three. You can also leave another comment as well, but if you want to be entered in the drawing of these three prints. So let me show you these real quick. 
So yeah, one, two, or three. And I will contact you, I will send you a message, we'll get your address and I'll get this sent out to you. Internationally, um, whatever, I just wanna do a giveaway. And I also have a something else a little special for those giveaway packs. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but it's probably gonna be something like this. Probably a roll of Tri-X or something. So yeah, one, two, three, I'm doing a print giveaway. And then get jazzed, make sure you're subscribed for the 2K giveaway if you guys want a chance at winning a Polaroid camera and a pack of Polaroid Originals 600, either color or black and white film. Guys, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Timothy Makeups. You can also find me every Wednesday on the Analog Talk podcast with my co-host, Chris Bartolucci. All the information's linked down below. Um, click on that stuff, watch some of my other videos, leave some comments if you have any questions. Guys, I will see you in the next one. Later.